What's good, what's good? It's your boy King Cat, man. Back with another video. And this one's gonna be the drop fade. I did something totally different than I've done before, man. I bought another camera so you can have two different angles. Um, let me know if y'all like that, cause that shit was hard, bro. I'm telling you, it was hard. Um, let me know what y'all think about that, though. If y'all like it, I'll sleep, I'll keep doing it, man, regardless of how hard it is I do for y'all. But if y'all really didn't like it, let me know, man, so I could be saving myself a little bit of time. Uh, but, uh, stay tuned, y'all, I got y'all. To start this video, I throw my A guard on my magic clips and just, uh, take everything down with an A. Then I grab my fast speeds, open them up all the way, and go up about an inch, man. Uh, that's gonna be a first gun, so make sure it's nice and even. All right, hold on, let me stop the video right here. Let me explain this part. I use my lever three times to get out this guideline. The reason I do that is to have more of a spread out fade. It helps you, you know, notice what you have to fix. You know what I mean? Because your fade's gonna be more spread out. I first close my lever all the way, then I hit the bottom of it, close, you know what I mean? Then I'm going to open it up 25% of the way, and I'm going to go about the middle of that guideline. I'm going to hit it to the middle, then I'm going to go 50% of the way, halfway of the lever open, and I'm going to kind of go more or less to the top, man. And uh, that's all I'm going to use to knock out the first guideline. Don't make it too hard on yourself. I throw my two guard, remove bulk. Alright, then I grab my one guard, open up all the way, and kind of just flick out. You're gonna go about a, right under the two, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much, but you can go right under the two and kind of just flick out. Then I throw my zero guard on my fast speed man, and then I'm just like lever playing with it. I'm not gonna tell you specifically how much they go up, but just lever play with it, man. You kind of gotta gradually open up your your lever as much until you get to the top. That makes sense. <laughs> Then yo, I'm detailing my work, so I'm gonna get my half guard on my magic clips, throw that on there, and again, I'm just never playing with it, man. Do what I gotta do to take out any lines that I see. This client did request me to fade into his beard, so they're the exact same steps I do on the fade, but I'm just going downwards now. 
So I'm gonna open up my clipper all the way and kind of make my first guideline right under the ear. Then I'm gonna close my lever all the way and hit the bottom of it. Then open up 25% of the way, go halfway, and then um, halfway of the lever, kind of go all the way to that guideline. Then I'm gonna throw my one guard, open it up. Then I grab my zero guard, man, and kind of just, you know, fade it out. Then just detail your work with the magic clips your half guard on. Y'all see that hard line right here that you need to attack to make that fade nice and clean. So I'm gonna throw my four guard, kind of go to the side with it. Then I'm gonna throw my grab my three guard, do the exact same thing. Then I'm gonna throw my two guard on there, do the exact same thing, then my one and a half, and then my one, until you finally see the air fade nice and blurry the way you want it. Whatever I do on the left side is the exact same thing that I do on the right side. So I'm gonna speed up the whole video, man, because it's the exact same step. I'm gonna speed up the back too, because it's the exact same thing, man. If you don't have the same steps in your haircut, then you're gonna have choppy hair. One side's gonna be higher than the other, or uh, vice versa, man. So just have the same steps. And like I said, man, if you have any questions, rewind the video, do the exact same steps. The hardest part of becoming a barber is erasing that first initial line from the bald to the fade. So to erase that, uh, I just grab my, uh, I bald it out in the end, bro. That's all I do. I got my balders, bald it out, then I get my shaver and work with it, man.
All right, yo, whenever you're edging someone up, man, make sure to have a nice, soft touch with it. Right here, I am using my wall detailers. And um, I, again, I'm just having a nice, soft touch with it. Don't try to push anyone back, man, but uh, it should be good. Whenever you're blending someone up, man, make sure to have the plate at a 45 degree angle, nothing more, nothing less. Make sure to stretch out the skin and kind of go against it, you know? I like to line up the beard with my blade just because I get to pick and choose what hairs I actually cut, man. So it just leaves it a lot cleaner in my opinion. Alright yo, that concludes it for this video. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about that. Because that's a whole lot different than what I've been bringing to the table. If y'all fuck with it, then I'll keep doing it. But if y'all don't, let me know, man. Because I don't want to be wasting my time. Because that was a lot of work. But uh, let me know what you want to see in the next video. Let me know what I can do to perfect my craft. Or let me know what you, that you want me to, something that you want me to slow down. You know what I mean? I do it for y'all. So just let me know, man. I got y'all. But till the next video, peace.